Fiber and Enema Colon Cleanse A rigorous colon cleanse program has two stages, increase of fiber intake to smooth the bowel movement, and administration of an enema to clear blockage. Most of our diet is composed of very unhealthy foods such as chips, fries, burgers, soda, and alcoholic beverages. In this society of fast food chains, our colons are being virtually destroyed. Our colon, aside from elimination of fecal wastes also aid in absorption of water, nutrients and salt from the food particles stored in the large intestines. If water is not adequate, the waste will be transformed into liquid form causing diarrhea. If the waste is in liquid form, it will pass through the colon too quickly and nutrients are not absorbed properly. The person experiencing this will also feel dehydration and hunger pangs. On the other hand, too much absorption of water in the colon also causes problems. Waste will move too slowly in the colon and has the chance to block the intestines. This will lead to constipation and bloating. Though enema may be considered uncomfortable, it is used as an effective colon cleanser. Using an enema to clean your colon is painless. Water is very essential so that the body can flush out the toxins and fecal matters that are gathered in your colon. Without enough water, our colon cannot get rid of unwanted materials from our bodies. The more you drink water, the more fecal wastes and toxins your body can flush out as part of the process of colon cleansing and the better the result of the colon cleansing process. If you are experiencing any symptoms of a clogged colon before you start a supplement-based colon cleanser, you should use an enema to smoothen the fecal waste that has accumulated in your colon. In most cases, people use at least two enema treatments per session to thoroughly clean the colon. Although there are authorities who would recommend using an enema every day, the amount of enema you should use should be based on the frequency of your bowel movements. The normal colon measures around 5 or 6 feet long and can provide room for around 20 pounds of fecal wastes. However, as the years pass by without intervention and proper fiber diet, some of these fecal wastes get accumulated in the colon and intestinal lining increasing the total body mass of the person by several pounds. It can also add to the bulky midsection of a person or commonly known as apple obesity or simply the dreaded beer belly. If you still have difficulty in doing at least two or more bowel movements every day, you can also do exercises to your usual routine. Such exercises include trampoline exercise to enhance the mobility of the digestive tracts. If you do not have the proper equipment for a trampoline exercise, you can also do twisting exercise of your abdomen to strengthen your core muscles. Improvement of your abdominal muscles can also help in the cleansing process. During the colon cleansing process, you should increase your fiber intake to expedite it. After the process is accomplished, you should take enough fiber to keep your colon clean and fortified. Nutritionists recommend that an average person should take 30 grams of fiber each day. However, most Americans would consume only a part of this allowance.